Hello, this is Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today I want to do a video on where do you get started mining crypto. So, um, just want to give you kind of a quick background of uh, me and, and where I've started. Um, the first thing I want to do, though, is bring you to a, a site where you're going to kind of follow through some of the software that I'm recommending and things like that. So if you're at the video, click on the top where it says read more, and we're going to come to this site right here. So basically, uh, I started mining back in two, January 19th, 2014, um, started mining different altcoins like Quark and things like that. And I was doing pretty good, you know, getting into it, was kind of getting excited about it, started a, a, a GPU rig. Um, and was having fun doing that. Um, but over time, um, mining is, is a good amount of work. It's a good amount of noise, uh, power and electricity. So I started investigating cloud mining. I thought that'd be easier. So I put a lot of effort and time into um, migrating physical mining or mining myself with hardware into the cloud mining um, kind of situation. Unfortunately, that blew up because there's a lot of Ponzi schemes and scams out there. So over time, basically all the money and time that I spent in the cloud mining operations that pretty much uh, disappeared. So um, I kind of lost a lot in that and get, got discouraged. So, you know, I had some Bitcoin left. I just kind of hung on to it and didn't do much with it. And a couple of years went by and then all of a sudden the price jumped up and I started looking back into it again. So uh, you're, you're probably asking, okay, that's nice, but I, you know, where do I get started? Should I mine with my CPU? Should I mine with my graphics card? You know, where do I start basically? So I'm going to kind of give you the, the way that I started. Um, and that's just mining with what you have. So I'm going to give you a couple of pros and cons to, to each. So the cons of mining is your electricity cost is going to increase. There's going to be a louder noise coming from your computer. You can have more heat, so if you're, you're mining in your, your bedroom or something like that, it's going to output some heat. If you're in a colder environment, just look at it as, uh, you know, additional supplementing your heat. <laughs> um, but it is going to also lower the life of your equipment. So if you're running you're in your car, for example, at full idle for a long period of time, that car is not going to last as long as if you're just going slow with it. Same thing with your CPU and graphics cards. So you can, you you actually will bring out your, your uh, life of your equipment in a quicker period of time. So that's the cons. The pros are you quickly learn about cryptocurrency because you're actually actively getting it and you're doing things with it. Um, you, you quickly start learning terminology and things like that, and that makes you more excited about it. Um, so it's a great way to learn about cryptocurrency. Um, it is possible to get rich. I mean, uh, you know, who knows where the prices are going to go, but let's say if you got even half of a Bitcoin mining for, you know, an entire year. Um, now, let's say 15, 20 years from now, Bitcoin is worth a million dollars. You know, you could have potentially a lot, a lot of money. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it's possible. So it, there's very little um, kind of downside as far as you're not investing a lot of your money, a little bit of electricity, but not that much. It's not like you're putting thousands and thousands of hard-earned money into it if you're if you're uh, kind of just starting off the mining thing. Um, another pro is you can resell the equipment. Um, so let's say you, you you do purchase like some some mining equipment, you can actually resell that on eBay for a couple of years later. Um, so here's what I recommend if you're first getting into it: don't go out into eBay and, and these different sites and purchase a bunch of heavy-duty equipment until you know it's something you want to do. So what I recommend is just if you have a basic systems, mine with a basic system. If you have a gaming rig, great, you're gonna get a little bit more coins, but just start with what you have. And then maybe you want to add a graphics card and things like that. And that's going to increase the mining profitability and the money you're getting. Um, and then maybe you're going to go to like an ASIC rig and things get a little bit more complicated from there. But uh, let's just start off with, uh, well, what should, you know, what coin should I mine? How should I mine it? Things like that. So I put a couple different sites here. Um, and the pro the issue is with mining is it's always constantly changing. So like right here, you could go down here say I have a like a i7 core calculate right here and it's going to spit out. I'm going to get, you know, 64 cents a day, you know, $5 a week, $17 a month. Now, keep in mind, if the price of Bitcoin doubles, this is going to double as well. Um, so let's look at some graphics cards real quick An RX 70 here, uh, you know, more obviously more money here coming in. 
Uh, and again, think that let's say ne next month the price of Bitcoin doubles, then all the money you've been mining again doubles as long as you keep it in Bitcoin. Um, here we have what to mine. This is mainly telling you GPUs, not really your CPU stuff, but still you, you can put in some like this. These are your video cards. Say so you have two of these video cards and highlight that, hit calculate, and the bottom it's going to spit out kind of what are the most popular ways to mine, uh, mine and the most uh, kind of your revenues from those. And also this is taking out electricity and things like that. So revenue and then profit, which is pretty cool. Um, and then lastly, we have the coin wars, same sort of things going to, this is kind of constantly changed. So right now moon coin is, is top, but, um, Bitcoin goes up and down Bitcoin cash as new coins come out, there's going to be one that's more profitable. So that's kind of interesting there. So now you kind of know, gives you an idea of profit and, uh, what, what the different uh, coins are. Um, but I think it's important just to get started and below, I'm going to show you a couple different pieces of software that you can get in your system today, hit run, run it for a week and just kind of get your feet wet with the whole mining thing. All right. So first thing you're going to do before you actually get mining software installed in your computer, and this is going to sound really weird, but it's going to be disable your antivirus. And here's why every vi um, mining software out there is going to come up as a virus. And this is because, um, a lot of virus makers bundle these um, uh, mining softwares with their their programs. They kind of generate some some revenue as well. They want to get money from their botnets. So um, if you can find a mining software that doesn't come up as a virus, I would be shocked. I have never found one that that doesn't come up as a, as a virus. Now keep keep this in mind. Is, is I do recommend you have antivirus software, and I have myself. I, I use Webroot, um, but you have to exclude these different pieces of software and you can have to trust them. So these are ones that I've, I've gone through. Um, so, but you just don't want to search, Hey, mining software and then type it in, just install it. Cause it could be a virus. So be careful about the download links and things like that. Um, so if you have a spare system or, you know, maybe not your main system, then recommend using that, uh, to start mining, you know, if you just want to be extra, extra safe. All right, so let's get into the fun stuff. So I got um, some different softwares here. I put them in order of preference. And number one, I'm starting off with MinerGate. Um, this is a referral link, FYI, for you guys. So um, if you guys do mine, that's helping me out a bit. It's not going to affect your profits or anything like that. But I do have some referral links in some of these. Some of them uh, I don't, like NiceHash, they don't offer a referral program. But I did put that as number two because that's another way to do it. I'm going to show you the software itself. I'm not going to get into actually setting up the software on each. Uh, in this video, I'll probably make a different video for each of the software itself because it gets a bit technical and complicated in there, but it's pretty much install it, run it, and you're good to go. So let's look first at the miner gate software. So here we got the software here and it's pretty clean, pretty simple to use. That's what I like about it. You can just actually hit start smart mining. It, you can do both CPU and GPU mining. Um, so depending on your graphics card and things like that, you know, it, it will uh, adjust. And as you can see, it's telling you your hash rates and things like that. I'm going to pause these so my system doesn't get too bogged down. And you have a wallet here, so you can see the different coins that you're mining. This is mining mul multiple different altcoins, and you can convert this into Bitcoin if you want. Um, and you, you, it has a lot of choices and options here, achievements, and things like that. It makes it kind of a friendly beginner way to, to mine uh, the coin. So I like this as a nice web interface as well. Nice hash, again, simple software. You just basically go into your wallet, paste in your Bitcoin wallet address. It does weekly payouts. You just hit start here. It spits out a DOS screen. Um, and you're going to start seeing your daily estimated earnings in United States dollars, which is cool. So those are two really quick um, programs that I recommend. Number one, number two, um, to start the mining. Another one um, that, that's pretty easy to use too is EOBot. Um, basically, you don't have to worry about setting up Bitcoin wallets or anything like that. Um, you can basically just put in a PayPal address. Just for someone who kind of wants to see the cash, I want to just show me the money. I don't think this is real. Just, you know, there's a very simple program as well. And I get the referral link in here. These other three softwares, I haven't tested them too much. Um, but they're just also simple to use, set them up, install them. And I recommend a couple, try a couple different, um, of these. And you might find that 
depending on your graphics card or your system, one's going to run better or faster than the other. So try some different ones. Again, your antivirus software is going to freak out on all these, which is fine. Just exclude them. Um, and also nice hash keeps coming up with updates so it would constantly keep coming up. You want to exclude directories and stuff. So the, the other thing you're going to want to do, of course, once you download it is install it. So just click next, 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 things like that. And you're going to want to receive obviously your money. And what I recommend, if you don't already have a wallet, use the Exodus wallet. Um, it's a nice clean wallet interface here. Um, it's secure. It's, it's the one I use to keep a lot of my coins. You could also go with something called the hardware wallet. I like the Ledger S. Um, and, you know, I kind of, me personally, I put about half my coins in a software wallet like Exodus and the other half in a hardware wallet like the Ledger. Um, so once you kind of get the software and you get your wallet, you want to test it. You want to see kind of these numbers pop up. Depending on the software you're using, something like this will pop up. You want to see numbers changing. You don't want to see it stalled out. You want to see it kind of doing something. Um, another thing you're going to notice if this is your home PC, which it probably is, is it will slow your system down. So I recommend running this software only when you're not using it, running on idle, running it while you sleep. It's kind of a neat idea to think, hey, when I'm sleeping, my computer's earning me a bit of money. Maybe it's not a lot of money, but it's somewhere to start, and it's just kind of a neat concept because before this, before you got the software, it's probably not making you any money at all. Um, the last thing you're going to want to keep an eye on is your profits, and you want to make sure that you get like a weekly payout. So kind of look for that weekly payout in your wallet address. Um, depending, again, which software you're using, it's going to show up different but you want to make sure at least once a week kind of monitoring that and, and, and looking at that. So I put a couple links on how to exclude the program, but basically it's going to generally be under C program files in the name of the minor software uh, is where you're going to exclude it from. Um, and of course, you know, you, you, once you get your coins, you're going to be uh, just like uh, DuckTales over here. Um, a couple other ways, let's say this just seems way too complicated and you know, I don't, this, I don't want to hurt my system or some of those cons just kind of hit you and, and you, you don't want to worry about it. A couple other ways to get into cryptocurrency. One would be, be to purchase via Coinbase. I provided a link here. Um, in Coinbase, you can basically just straight up purchase Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, Ethereum, and you can transfer, you can use a credit card, you can use your bank account. And um, so basically, this is one way to do it. If you do the link that I provided, uh, you'll get a $10 additional bonus uh, if you deposit at least $100. So I recommend doing, if you are going to do this way, don't just, hey, I'm going to go purchase $1,000. Sounds great. It's going to keep going up. Purchase it over a set amount of time. It may be $50 a month for one year. So as, as the price goes up and the price goes down, you don't get too freaked out. Oh my gosh, I'm, my money cut in half or, oh, now it doubled. It's very, uh, altcoins and crypto coins are very volatile. And that's something that you have to kind of get used to. It can be fun, but it can also be scary. So do it over a set of time and say, you know what? I have $1,000 that I'm, I'm not going to be too worried about losing. I'll put this, you know, $50, $100 a month for one year. After that one year, I'm going to reevaluate it and see if it's the right thing for me. Say so you have no money. I, I don't have any money pretend uh, to invest in this stuff at all. Then you could do something called altcoin bounty programs. And basically, that's when you're doing kind of work. Um, you might be posting some links to your Facebook. You might be making blog posts. There's different kind of campaigns out here. And this is a fun way to not actually invest, you're investing some time, but you don't actually invest any money. The best thing about me personally that I think I, I like mining is I'm not investing very much. I invest a little bit of time up front to do the research and get the equipment, but after that, there's no time invested and there's very little money, a little bit of electricity invested. So it's low on the time, low on the money. Um, bounty program is going to be high in the time, low on the up zero on the upfront money invested, but another kind of cool thing you can do. Um, another thing I recommend doing is read books about crypto, get an audio book, you know, get a book at Barnes and Nobles or Amazon or something like that. Learn more about it and listen to some podcasts. I like the bad crypto podcasts. Also with this, they give you some free bad coin, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is, you know, something free you can listen to and you get more excited about it as other people are talking about it and you learn things and that's kind of the fun part because it's always changing so it's something that you have to kind of stay on top of another thing you can do is join some facebook groups i put put some links up here um, again people talking about it if you have questions you can ask in here everyone's very nice and helpful in there 
Um, and last thing you want to do is track your profits. So I recommend this site here, um, the Crypto Compare, and you can uh, pop, you know pop in your, your numbers and things like that, and and you can even pretend like, oh, what if I had fifty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars in these coins? Where would that take me? And you, you can put in some fake numbers and kind of see um, how things go. So that's a nice free site. And last thing, if you guys uh, want, if you like the video, f you know feel free to send me some coins, uh, but you definitely don't have to. Uh, but I give you guys uh, some links down there on how to do that. So hopefully this this was very helpful. Again, um, give it a try. You know, just use what you have. Don't spend a lot of money at, at the beginning. See if it's something that you like doing. At the end of the week of, of trying it, if it's stressful, if you didn't enjoy it, don't keep doing it. You know, it's got to be something that you like doing. Um, but I, I don't. I recommend you keep the interest in crypto. I think it's here for the long term. All right, guys. Hopefully you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel. Click here to watch more videos or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.